Jumbo, this is Madame Reisner, and I'm going to tell you more about my experience in Gabon, Central Africa. This time I'm going to tell you about some of the differences between the expectations of men and women, their, their daily lives. Uh, women did a lot of the family work. They did all the chores by hand, like mashing roots for food in the kitchen. They made palm oil. They had to, the children usually gathered the palm oil nuts and then the women processed them. Here's one of the typical meals, rabbit stew, manioc or cassava, greens of some sort, different fruits, today it was passion fruit, and then they have tea with milk and sugar. The women spent a lot of time making the manioc flour. They had to mash it out and they had to filter water through it so that it wasn't toxic. They also pre prepared plantains, which they used more like mashed potatoes. Some of the women would make donuts. Uh, this is a woman from Mali and she was making donuts. They were really good. Uh, this woman had a store. All the items in the store are what's behind her on the shelves. That's soap, milk, maybe some uh, canned meat. Inside of the actual local store, you have toilet paper at the top. They had some soaps. They had a little bit of food and some cooking oil. The men, on the other hand, they were hunters and fishermen. So this person here is pre preparing his hunting or his fishing nets. He his, was building a house. They were hunters and builders. Uh, the men on the left are building the new school and the men on the right are bringing in the wild boar. Other men were tailors. And so I've got a lot of clothing. You buy the clothing, you bring them to the tailor and they would make whatever you wanted. The kids, on the other hand, they helped the women. Until they were a certain age, then they would go hunting and fishing. But these are the younger children. They made the baskets, they went out, and we gathered the food. So notice that I was taller than most of the guys. The guys are kind of standing on stumps. Uh, those baskets full of wood were very heavy. The woman on the left is that short. And so this is where a lot of the pygmies were from. And so a lot of the women, because of that and because of the nutrition, they are very, very short. Yet she's carrying a basket of wood that is almost as tall as she is. And last, I just want to let you know that is a tropical rainforest. If you did not sleep under a net, then you would get bit and most likely get malaria. This is my friend Bernadette, and I spent a lot of time in this kitchen. It, it is a kitchen. It's got a dirt floor. Nobody, you know, ate on the floor. But they had a wood fire, and we sat on the little benches. All right, that looks like it's, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next recording.